Selective internal radiation therapy, also known as CERT, or radioembolization, is performed using SirSphere's Y90 resin microspheres. CERT is a targeted treatment for inoperable liver tumors that delivers millions of radiation-emitting microspheres directly to liver tumors. The implantation of microspheres takes advantage of the fact that the normal liver parenchyma is primarily supplied by the portal vein, while the hepatic artery is the primary blood supply for liver tumors. By using this preferential blood supply, tumors can be selectively targeted and irradiated, leaving healthy tissue relatively unaffected. CERT is a minimally invasive therapy in which a transfemoral microcatheter is used to gain access to the hepatic artery supplying the liver. After mapping the hepatic arterial system and isolating the hepatic vasculature to prevent the deposition of microspheres in the gastrointestinal tract, the microcatheter is advanced into the position from which the microspheres will be delivered. The Y90 resin microspheres are administered through this catheter. Administration should be conducted in a slow and deliberate manner to reduce the likelihood of early stasis and retrograde blood flow. The CERT procedure delivers beta radiation directly to liver tumors using the tumor's arterial blood supply. The goal of the procedure is to allow the microspheres to directly target liver tumors via the hepatic artery with enough focused radiation to kill tumor cells while minimizing exposure to the remaining healthy liver tissue. The Y90 resin microspheres average 32 microns in diameter, which is small enough to flow through the hepatic arteries, but are too large to pass through the capillary bed within the tumor, where they become permanently implanted in the tumor. The resin microspheres contain the radioactive element yttrium-90, which delivers beta radiation over a relatively short distance, an average of 2.5 millimeters in human tissue. Yttrium-90 has a half-life of 64.1 hours. Therefore, 94% of the administered radiation dose is delivered in 11 days, with almost no activity remaining after a month. Understanding that beta radiation from Y90 resin microspheres only penetrates a mean of 2.5 millimeters in human tissue, it is necessary to deliver enough targeted microspheres in close proximity to each other to achieve the desired tumor kill effect. Two factors contribute to achieving this outcome. Number one, administering an appropriate volume of microspheres for a patient's specific liver tumor burden. And number two, enabling the microspheres to disseminate around the tumor surface to avoid potential radiation gaps where active malignant cells may otherwise continue to grow. SirSphere's Y90 resin microspheres were designed to take advantage of liver physiology and the hypervascularity of the tumor's surface to effectively kill liver tumors while sparing normal liver parenchyma. SirSphere's are designed to deliver their prescribed radiation activity over tens of millions of microspheres, microspheres that purposely have a density similar to that of human blood. This allows the multitude of density-specific microspheres to remain suspended in the bloodstream long enough to be carried to the distal arterioles of the tumor surface for broad coverage. Killing liver tumors is not just a function of total radiation activity delivered. It's also a function of radiation targeting and coverage. Clinical studies show that when used in combination with chemotherapy, SirSphere's Y90 resin microspheres can shrink patients' liver tumors more than chemotherapy alone, improve quality of life, and increase life expectancy. To properly evaluate the patient response from CERT, it's important to wait approximately three months to order and evaluate CT scans. This is because the normal tumor response from beta radiation is to subtly increase in size within the month or two following the procedure due to inflammation and then decrease in size with the tumor necrosis that follows. In a small number of patients, treatment can enable sufficient shrinkage of the liver tumors to permit future surgical resection.